on this homecoming, homecoming, doing the homecoming festivities. And what I'd like to read it here for a second. As governor of Texas, it is a pleasure to congratulate you on your 33rd annual homecoming services. You have come a long way since your humble beginnings in 1961. You have inspired, uplifted, educated, and fulfilled so many people, including me, over the years. And I know that the works of Christian charity this congregation has performed has made your community and the entire state better places for many people to live. As you grew as a church and congregation, so did your commitment to the people of Dallas. You've reached out to others through a bi-monthly magazine, radio broadcast, a Christian camp, the Lobius Mary Christian Academy, and various outreach ministries. The efforts and miraculous accomplishments of the congregation and leaders of Full Gospel Holy Temple Church have made it a prominent and important place of worship for many years. I'm glad that you are designating a day of recognition for this wonderful church, a day to remember past individual and church leaders who have worked so hard and given so much to their congregation so the congregation could prosper. It is also a day to look forward to the future, to anticipate the successes and celebrations which are still to come. On behalf of all Texans, underscore all Texans, I thank you for your continuing religious and community leadership, and I join you in spirit as you celebrate this special event. Best wishes, signed sincerely, Governor Ann Richards, Governor for the State of Texas. Praise the Lord. Isn't that wonderful? Hallelujah. God bless you. You may be seated. We certainly want to thank Senator West for coming over and giving us that proclamation.
behalf of the Four Gospel family, we welcome you to celebrate this great homecoming with us. You're welcome to rejoice and praise, and you're definitely welcome to let God have his way. To those who've come far and near, we want you to know we're glad that you're here. Once again, I must say that you are welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs>
apostle, the apostle, don't be a spirit. Let the church receive him with a resounding amen. amen. Read it to my many friends in Radio Land. We have to come again by the means of radio. Bring another message of Jesus Christ, the master of all mankind. Let you know that Jesus Christ is the same. Yesterday, today, and forever. And whatever you need from God, you can receive it by faith. I like to say, my many friends in Radio Land, we want you to get real close to that radio. Riding down the highway, why don't you just pull up to the side and stop? But better than that, why don't you do that? Many people are doing. They're coming to the full gospel. Hold it to a church and many are receiving that blessing. The very first service. So you ought to yourself to come and see what God is doing today. Yes, Mama days are still here where we can find faith upon this earth. We believe God for the supernatural. And I tell you, we're witnessing a great outpouring of the Spirit of God. I know you can tell by all of this noise that we are happy. We are having a wonderful time. We are excited. This is our annual homecoming. This is the time of the year that many of those that have went out in different parts of the country return and we can have an old-fashioned Holy Ghost sign. We will be all day and throughout this next week. You don't want to miss this. This is a church for all people. Pray God, this is a friendly church. This is a holy church. Hallelujah. This is a church full of love. Give me a taste to come and be in the service with us and let's worship the Lord together. I tell you, we are excited. The Lord has really, really been good to us. This is a ministry of faith. He came through many hard trials and tribulations. But we can testify the Lord never let us down. He has never failed us yet. Hallelujah. So for many, many people that went out from this ministry, prayer got into other areas, established churches. Some moved away because of their jobs. Praise God, but many return this time every year. All three auditorium is packed and people on the outside. We are excited what Jesus is doing today. In a time when it looks like praying our churches are lowering their standard and people are giving up and don't want to serve God anymore. Full gospel holy temple is proud. We stand as a beacon of light. Christ still lives. Christ is still alive. God still works miracles. God still saves. God still changes life. God still heals the sick. Hallelujah. We are excited. We're going to have a time this week. Pray we'll be sharing testimonies and fellowship and just having a good time. Listen, you got in Radio Land think you're having a good time. Some of you are suffering from a hangover from last night. Listen, you don't know what good fun is until you get saved. Sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Listen, we are excited. You can live holy. You can dress nice and look good and still be holy. Sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost. You believe it? Say amen. So come on over and enjoy the Lord with us. We'll be having service all day today. And throughout this next week, because tomorrow night, we'll be downtown, but Tuesday night, we'll be back. Now, I tell you, we got some of the greatest preachers that ever lived. I believe it, amen, that love God, walks and talk with God, believe in preaching the gospel of delivery, watching God confirm it with signs, miracles, and wonders. And what I like about it, you can look at them and tell that their lives has been changed. Amen. See, there's a lot of people testifying that they've been delivered, but you can't tell the difference. Amen. I believe you can tell the difference between a new car and an old car. Amen. Amen. And Paul says, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Amen. Old things have passed away and all things become new. Amen. I'm a firm believer. And I have some witness that when God changed you, you a new individual. You have a new outlook on life. This is what many, many of you are looking for. You're looking for that change. That's something that can change your life. That's something that can deliver you and give you joy and peace and happiness. I want you to know you'll find it over in the Holy Ghost. How do we pray? We're, going, we're just having a time here. Listen, it's a beautiful thing to come together and enjoy the Lord. So, 
a lot of people said, I feel sorry for you holding this folks. You don't have anything to do. That's what you think. We have plenty to do. Hallelujah. So what do you do? We go to church shop, dance and praise the Lord, talk in tongues, and listen to the word of God. Hallelujah. So it ain't no fun in that. Well, if it ain't no fun in this, ain't no fun in going to the football game. Hallelujah. See, why are you going to praise God? Worshiping a fall something. We got a true and a living God. See, I know what it means to be saved. I know what it means to be delivered from my hang up and all our walls and all our discussions. Hallelujah. Now, God to come in and give you a new life. I know what it means to be healed by the power of God. When it looked like man can't do anything for you, then God steps in. This is the God that we're serving. This is the God we're going to be worshiping this week. And we're giving them the invitation to come out and be with us. Listen, beloved. I feel the men of you on the side of my voice. Some of you are laying flat on your back. Some of you are discouraged. You don't know what to do. Maybe your family's turned the back on you. But I want you to know that's someone that cares. His name is Jesus. I don't care what you have done and how long you have practiced. Jesus loves you. Now he may not love what you're doing. But Jesus loves you. And Jesus stands ready to help you. Now this is what this ministry is all about. Amen? We're not just preaching and taking people's money. I don't believe in taking people's money. Pray that the money that God blesses the church, I believe in putting it to good use. In 33 years, the Lord has blessed it with some beautiful churches. And I can say most of our churches is paid for. Our people are not on a perfect strenuous strain trying to support this ministry. This is a ministry of God. The Lord has blessed us with 111 acres down in East Texas. Pray God where we have a camp where our children go to, to Bible school in the summer. Vacation Bible school and enjoy the Lord in a perfect environment. Ride horses, fish, and just have a good time. Not only that, we believe in good education in a Christian environment. And the Lord has blessed us with a school, the LMCA, fully accredited, just like SMU and the University of Texas, where our kids can go to school in a Christian environment, where they can pray whenever they get ready, and we'll talk to them the word of God, bring them their talk, pray God, how to treat one another, how to love one another, how to respect one another, how to respect law and all and property, and still get a real good education where they can get a good job. And some of our students, some of the greatest universities across this nation, amen, they came from full gospel holy temple. And not only that, but we're concerned about our little children. We're concerned about everybody. We're concerned about the old folk. We're concerned, pray God, enough to reach out and help. You believe it? Say amen. That's why the, the anointing of God is upon this ministry is so great. Because it's a ministry of Jesus Christ. It's a ministry that's concerned about lost souls. We've seen many break a common God open the eye. We've seen the land get up and walk. We've seen people saved, drug addicts deliver, alcoholic deliverers. This is what it's all about. Get your hand on that radio. Let's play God. Father God, in the name of Jesus. Look on those that's in radio land. God forgive them for their sin. Lord, we ask you to save them, deliver them, and set them free. Fill them with the Holy Ghost. Look on those that are sick. Dear God, touch and heal them. Let your healing virtue go through their bodies. God, raise them up for your glory and honor. These are the blessings we ask in the Son, Jesus' name.